They were open. Did you see me, anybody see me open her phone? I Not did. while I was sitting here, no. Thank you so much, and that's why you and I should that, be detectives. That's the truth. <laughs> True detectives. Truth detectives. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, true detectives. Yeah. I think that you and I would be honest with each other if we were detectives. I highly doubt that. He is. I would save information. Liar. I would save information for myself. Okay. So I want the glory. He also will flip it on you. Oh, God. <laughs> Detective information that you Truth one day, like. It's, it's, uh, yeah, you, no way. No, I what I, if I, okay, if Nora and I were lead detectives, I'll say, look, give me the scenario. You have early onset dementia, I think. So. <laughs> Give me the murder scenario, and we're detectives. Give me the scenario. That's a cool show, though, a detective with dementia. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you have a Jane Doe, approximately 15 to 20. Can we call her Veronica? 15 to 20. Yeah, okay. 15 to 20, oh, we nice. think. Right? Okay. She what are you, the dispatch? Has... What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm the, I'm the So we're, you're, we're in the car. We're getting the call. <laughs> yeah, we're driving. Okay. We're driving. Right? <laughs> what if we're on separate assignments, and you... you no, know, I don't want... You want to be together. Oh, I call you. Late at night. No, no, no. So what? this is what happens. You're the dispatcher, <laughs> right? So call me. All right, we have a Jane Doe. Who's Rock this? <laughs> I have to ask because I don't know. <laughs> I need the information. She didn't present herself. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Out of nowhere, you're going to say that we have a Jane Doe? I was like, I'm, Who is fucking, this? I'm a cop, right? I just stumbled onto this body by the river. Oh, got it. Got All right, my bad. Yeah. All right, so. And I'm calling you. I'm calling. You're calling me. All right, so, so you're, uh, okay. you find a body? If, yeah, I, I'm just. Just so you know, <laughs> this if, is if so you're difficult. already a detective and you don't know who's calling you about a Jane Doe, <laughs> like you're not doing your job very well. That's not well true. He calls you on your police phone. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. she wouldn't call you on your personal. Not right? only that, Nora. Don't don't you believe that? Like, <laughs> if I was like above it, right? That I gain more respect. Uh huh. Like I don't know who anyone is. Right. Oh, right. 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 I yeah. know. I know who you are, yeah. but I pretend that I don't. All right, well, I'm a police Just chief. Just get the call going. <laughs> I'm a police chief. All right, go ahead. Police You're the chief. chief? Yeah, I'm a chief. All right, go call. Henrietta. All right, Henrietta. Henrietta. Okay. Yeah, Henrietta. I like that. Thank you. Well, That's fucking, the lady needs to get fucking solved. She's dead. She's dead. Yeah, Let's she, get this uh, going. Uh, uh, family right. members. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, listen. Yeah. She only has a torso. What? what? Well, I'm not going. I'm not Why going. Not? I don't do torso. <laughs> Why not? We don't do torso. You don't do torso <laughs> crimes? You don't do torso. I do, I'm a, I do torso. That's why I called you. That's why we balance each other out. <laughs> That's why You're I'm calling you. You're strictly head. He's so strictly call, torso. So we don't torso. have anyway. <laughs> I'm head. No legs on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Torso? Oh, fuck. I got to call that <laughs> fucking bastard, Nora. <laughs> and then you, you call Chief. Go ahead. Oh, who am I calling? You're, we're still talking on the phone. <laughs> never fucking got off. all happening still? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We never got off, man. All right, bye. I got to call fucking Nora. Uh, well, do your thing then, beep, motherfucker. I, I, beep, that, I just hung up. But okay. what if there's more information? That's it. First, I got to see if you're available. Well, I am I feel like I'm on like sabbatical. So <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I am like, oh. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, you know, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not doing this anymore, <laughs> bud. I'm not doing it anymore. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or can we make yours more like the Mel Gibson from um, Lethal Weapon where mm. you live in a trailer? <laughs> okay. Like you drink, you have a dog. You live in a trailer, maybe an iPad. Like you're jaded. Yeah, I live in like I live in like Vancouver, you know, <laughs> or, or the Seattle, like northern Seattle. Like right. Seattle, mm -hmm. rural, very moody detective weather, right? <laughs> yeah. So, what is, is that Puget Sound? Where yeah, you like I, yeah. The the, the I'm orca? taking courses at the University of Puget Sound. Yes. Yeah. What the? Are fu you really marine biology? Are you really? No. For oh. <laughs> Scared. She's such, she doesn't. She wants to get out of the police base. You think with her fucking schedule, she has time <laughs> to go to Nora. What, what's it, uh, to what's it? Punic Sound. Yes, Puget because, Sound. Puget Sound. Because, Puget Sound. Yes, because Kesha went to the Galapagos to oh. do study. Who um, the fuck is Kesha? Oh, Kesha is Kesha. Kesha. Yeah. I just found out about tra who Travis Scott is. Oh. Anyway, let's move on. I don't right. think that's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's appropriate. But I didn't know who he was. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah, you learned. Okay, good. Thank you so much. So Kesha, I called Nora. Uh, Timber. Okay, right, 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 right. All right, so ring, ring. Oh. Yeah, what? It's me. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? <laughs> you, got an you got angry at her for not answering yourself. Yeah, yeah. Montgomery. Oh. It's me, Montgomery. Hey, Henrietta Montgomery. just called you. Ward. <laughs> you just heard from Henrietta or what? 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 Did you just hear from Henrietta? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. How'd you know? I, every time I call you, I, I talk to Henrietta. She called me. Oh, she, oh, fuck, bitch. Yeah. 
that fucking bitch chief we had. <laughs> She's so, a, she went from a dispatcher to a field cop <laughs> <laughs> to now the chief of the, the entire. Bitch chief. <laughs> she did that in fucking one minute. She changed herself from receptionist to. Anyway, let's move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you, you're good with torsos, right? Yeah, I've found my. No, she's no, <laughs> no, she's no torso. You're strictly torso. She's strictly head. Then um, why would I call her if fucking the, the fuck this? <laughs> improv. Let's just finish it. Okay, Let's get yeah. to the point. Okay. Fly down. <laughs> I don't think I can. But just, let's finish this thing, man. <laughs> right. Let's finish, finish this sketch. This can we like, finish this sketch? It's still an act one, guys. Come right, on. right, right. Come on, no, come on. Um. Do we know her name? Henrietta? No, you're no, Henrietta. That's no, that's Henrietta. Her, that's the, she, I told you early onset dementia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Francois, what's his name? What's her name? You can call me Francois. Francois. All right. Come on, Francois, please. Remember the, the severed head case that I helped you with? Yeah, I did. Because I'm good with severed cases and heads? Yeah. All right. Remember I told you that the laceration marks on the neck couldn't come from a, you know, saw uh, that's, bit? Right. Remember? And you're like, oh, yeah, it can't come from a saw bit. You did like, a, a different knife de- demonstration. <laughs> right. In court. I had to go all the way to Seattle. <laughs> right. Right. Spent four days in that fucking courtroom. Right. Going, well, this saturated blade has this was made in 1976 and it couldn't cause the last race. You know what I mean? Yeah. They make, right? Pretty good, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, um, would you help me? You know, I really don't want to, but I love You're it. But I, yes. Okay. So, this is how I would cheat. <laughs> okay. All right. We go to the crime scene, right? And I see. A titty. Mm. No, not a male titty. Mm. A female titty. Mm-hmm. Nipple. Mm. A nipple. Underneath the couch. The body's there. Okay. Is it in my... the river bed? Is it in the river? Yeah, we said yeah, it's in a bed. It's a river bed. It's a river bed. Oh, river bed. Let me ask you this. Are there abandoned couches by river beds? They can be. LA River. Can I've be. seen it. Then let's not even question if it. If it's a hangout spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one of those thing. late night when they do racing? When the punk rock kids oh. go and they go to that spot and they have the they race is that what you yeah and, and they like work on their friendships <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 we're yeah. creating memories every night <laughs> yeah yeah so what i would do is i would see the eye the nipple mm. and i would take my plastic you know how they have the plastic bag mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and i would just sl- what's that I'm I'm putting I'm sneaking the plastic bag underneath the thing so i can grab the eyeball i was thinking because i want evidence not tell Nora about it so that when i have to present it i can glory. look like I know more than her. That is some Fox Mulder Scully <laughs> shit. That's exactly what Mulder would do to Scully. I know. That is, like, he would totally just get her in so much more trouble by abducting a stray nipple of a crime scene. What about, where the fuck did you get that, Montgomery? The, 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 Henrietta's gonna kill you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. You know how mad you'd be if I presented it? How mad would you be? I flew all the way from Seattle, bitch. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. If it was against protocol, I'd be mad. Okay, let's go back to introducing you and let's. Yeah, get back to yeah, yeah. I don't no, know why here. we started. That was our cold <laughs> open. I love it. Yeah, I love that. I love that a lot. Yeah. So go ahead. <sighs> Hello, everybody. Woo! How many episodes is this, Gil? Dude, I think we're over 320. My God, what a voyage. And, you know, we don't get people back here often, you know? No. Sometimes people are one and done. Yikes. Or, is that harsh? <laughs> if you're listening right now and you did our podcast one time, you'll come back. You're coming back. You're coming <laughs> right, back. So I don't want to <laughs> feel bad. Let's not deal. Right. But this... um. Young talent that we have. Can I say that? Sure, I love that. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did it make you feel good? Uh, yeah. Okay. It did. It does. Yes. This young, fresh talent. Thank you. With a new voice, <laughs> dynamicism, dynam- dynamic. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. She. Um. I think when she did our podcast before, we did it in the apartment. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was before crazy rich Asians. it was before right this is before the g- gigantic wave that she's you know mm-hmm. what i mean surfing on right it was a while ago yeah right and this is what you don't realize this nora mm-hmm. i might get emotional no don't bobby don't no don't <laughs> what, what you don't realize is the honor oh. <laughs> because you made it mm. big and you came back to the roots to help us out. 
And that's how I'm wa- seeing this event. Okay. All right? Yeah. So, God damn it. Call me Montgomery. Okay, Montgomery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love you, brother. You know what else? Another brother. Can I say something else? Brother? <laughs> During my birthday party, mm-hmm. okay, when I saw you at, what's his name? Dumbfounded. 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 <laughs> You said you loved him. Before you just Sorry. said you loved him. Yeah. You, you literally just... said he was your favorite I know, I person. I can't give him everything. <laughs> okay. I can't not, give him everything. Yeah, not in public. You can't like recall his name quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, you know, when I went to his show and I saw you there, um, you said a couple of, I was really depressed. Mm. I came back in the party. I felt good about that. But in general, I was depressed. Mm. And you said some real nice things to me. And I really appreciate you brought some. Interesting people to the show. You did too. You did too. You. Would I bring Gina Gershon? Gina Gershon. She, I think she would, if 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 you let her, she might do love to you. She loves you that much. I love Gina Gershon. <laughs> I mean, I grew up watching her movies like crazy. Me too. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of hers. Huge fan. So talented. Don't you love it when you meet somebody that you were a fan of? Yeah, they meet your expectations, like like meet your heroes. You know what I mean? Yeah, meet. You're one of those. What? Yeah, you're a hero that when you meet, it, it exceeds if tell not me, meet. Tell me more. Montgomery. No, it- <laughs> Montgomery. Montgomery? <laughs> yeah, Montgomery no. It, it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. yeah. All right, it succeeds. It's nice. <laughs> but I don't like. Okay, I brought Gina Gershon, but then you also you brought. You like Benedict? You know, like he's the. Our main, oh, yeah. he's one Benedict of our main. Too. He's one of our main superheroes. Yeah, yeah, for right. Sure. Yes, Wong. you didn't bring. You didn't bring Shang Chi, did you? Uh, no, Simu? Simu was not there that night. No. Oh, I wanted to meet Shang Chi. Yeah, I'm sure he'd love to meet. You. <laughs> Is he good? Powerful? You guys actually met <laughs> at my Thanksgiving. What? But you didn't. We did. He wasn't Shang Chi yet. Oh. What do you have like an all Asian out Thanksgiving? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he just he, he first moved here. He didn't have anywhere to go for Thanksgiving, and his no. mani- his manager brought him to my place. And oh. kind of, it was just super. Why didn't you say that he could have been a power though? Mm. Hey, this Asian guy will be a superhero. Yeah, if you would have said that, that I would have been like, you know, I don't no, know. You, talked to him. you guys were laughing. You guys talked about <laughs> it. Then you would have come. You were chill. Oh, oh, he was a good guy. Yeah, you, you didn't cool. big time him. He didn't. Big, he didn't. You didn't. Oh, big thank time God. Him. I didn't. No, I don't big time anybody. Not really. You big time people. What does that mean? <laughs> I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's suppose you're in a hotel. Uh huh. Which you're in a lot, right? Yeah. You're in London. Uh, You've been in London lately. Uh, yeah. Right. Yes. <laughs> you stay at a hotel when you're in London or a house? <laughs> uh, sometimes a hotel. Let's just go with the hotel. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because the other way, it won't work. Okay. So we have to go with hotel. Because everyone will be like in my house. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> that would be where you call the cops. <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> yeah right, right. Right, right. So we're not in the house. We're in the hotel. Hotel. You're in, you just get off that. You're, you're going to get some coffee, right? And you can see 30 high school kids. Oh. Uh, they eye you. And they all, you can see them all whispering. Oh. Uh, right? You can tell, you know, there's always one high school guy that's like, I'm the brave one. Like, he'll just. Look at his friends and go, check this out. Uh oh. So he uh-huh. can get some, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he walks up, and you know that once he opens the floodgates, you have to do 30 pictures. Sure, sure, sure. Do you do the 30? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, probably. Me too. You would too? No. no. You wouldn't. <laughs> you yeah, wouldn't. Yeah, I would. You know, I, I, I don't know what it is. I think. Um, it, it, it's it's a very circumstantial if I like try to rush out of something like that, it, you know, like because generally if I'm just being caught, it's like kind of it's like, you know, it's it's I'm going to get caught. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, it, it's like if, if there was a crowd and I'd rather go out taking the pictures than going out with them being like, wow, she was such a bitch. You know, oh, what I mean? right, right, right. Like, right. yeah. So it's not it's it's actually it doesn't like take a lot from me to do. Pic- I mean, I, if, if you like me, I don't mind it. But yeah, 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 I totally see what you mean. I think that some like I, I'm, I'm definitely around some people that get like swarmed and, and they and they really can't leave a space, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Because I, w- I don't want to, I don't make fun of me because I'm, because I feel like it's me woe with what I'm saying. But it's like, you know, Sunday I shot that scene with Sarah Jessica Parker in Manhattan. Oh shit! No, nice. so we're in Manhattan. People going to- oh yeah, what? they go and for her. the city stopped. She's legend, huh? It's yeah. like traffic, and then now I have to do this difficult dialogue crossing the street, <laughs> right where there's thousands of people on each corner taking photos of paparazzi yeah. coming out of nowhere, right? Yeah, yeah. And I looked at her and I go, I don't think I can do this right now. 
Really? There's so much pressure. I mean, you perform to like thousands it's of people. Insane. Okay. Oh I mean, don't, don't yell at your boss. It's your partner. Don't yell at your It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. Yeah, no, you can do it. I get it. I get the fervor. I get Perhaps it. You with a torso. Oh, you're so sorry. Torso, sorry. sorry, sorry. It's okay. You can, it's not the same. It's not the same. I get it. It's, yeah, it's the, Why do you Koreans do that? What? Zero to 100 in 1.5 seconds. Theatrics. We're in theatrics, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but culturally we do it too. Yeah, it's like even if if I or watch any Korean movie, it's always mumble, 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 scream, mumble, no, mumble, no. scream. Because our emotions are fluid, mm. and yeah, we connect them all. So uh, you know, Koreans are f- extra feelers. Like in Star Trek: Next Generation, we'd be Beta, mm-hmm. Betazoid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean Troy. You know what do Betazoids do? It just makes me as- upset that no one knows. What Star Trek next? Generation. Are they not as good as like Alpha Zoids? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Beta Zoids is a brace of people that can feel other people's feelings. Empaths. Or, oh, is that what they're called? They're oh. empaths. That's oh, what, cool. Yeah, yeah. So in the show, they're empaths. They're like an MBTI army. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so um, when I'm feeling, all right, like right now I'm feeling wild mm. and I feel content. Yeah. Hungry, right? So I'm feeling this right now. Now, if I feel anger, I it just bleeds into that feeling. Mm. But does the anger just come out of nowhere sometimes yes. and it just sticks its head out? Yeah. But I don't do, do, I don't do it to strangers because my dad used to do that. Scream at people? Yeah, we, he would call, I mean, he, he swung a golf club to two big, like I think they're Mexicans, but right, he went, hey, me and he took a fucking golf club and started oh. swinging at them. Yeah. I remember being in the car scared, so it's like, Damn. I don't want to do that in public. Sure. You didn't. I don't think that I was fine. I thought it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, you, you, came, you still came at a COVID distance. Yeah. At a, yeah. At a COVID safe Korean theater. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, no, yeah. 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 I also felt you weren't in danger. I mean, no, I looked I, at your no. eyes. No. Right. It's I'm, your fault. You're, calling, you're causing drama. <laughs> no, no. Kalila's watching out. She's looking out. You oh, know? Yeah. 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 I apologize for that. I come from a screamy household. Well, Chinese people don't have that? Um, I I don't know if it's the same like what you're talking about with Koreans like with the mumble mumble and then it, and then it, it, but I feel like there there's a distinct separation between like when it's like it's like normal and then they're just like pissed <laughs> like I feel like you have to get there yeah, like, yeah like you have to say like I never liked you dad <laughs> then, you know yeah, yeah, you yeah like go like crazy yeah do you ever say that to your dad when I was really young once I was like dad I love you but I don't like you. Ooh. Yeah. What was his reaction? He was he got upset. He was upset. Oh my god. He was it was like it was like oh you 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 don't have to like like that kind of thing. Yeah, because if I said that to my dad, you know, dad, I love you, but I don't like you. The first thing I would hear is <laughs> that's my conscience going off. Oh, oh you turn oh. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how like a android or whatever when they get shut off, mm-hmm. just like, I see that in my eye. Light, yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Oh, that, right. And then maybe. Two or three hours later, I wake up, <laughs> and I think I'm laying there. I have a black eye. And oh. I'm never gonna. Say, I, like, that's how I learned. I'm never gonna say that to him again. Oh. So your dad was never violent. Um, not past a certain age. I mean, not and not violent. I think he was definitely disciplinary. And yeah, while. yeah. I would tell my mom I loved her, and she'd still punch me in the mouth. Oh, oh. Yeah. No, well, way to. But yeah. I'm wow. So sorry, babe. Yeah. That sucks. But I think I, yeah. you should have. Did you feel that? <laughs> you should have. <laughs> yeah. Did you feel that? Yeah. 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 Like what, that, I feel it makes you the type of person you are, cognizant, right? <laughs> yeah. Of, of shit, like, looming dangers. Yeah. 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 Right. I'm always like bracing and yeah. Yeah. For that change and <laughs> you never but, know when a backhand is around the corner. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. It I'm is. skittish. Yeah, but you can always tell when somebody was raised good. I think. Can you or no? Um. Uh, I, I can tell when someone's been raised, has never been hit, mm. like uh. violently. Mm. They're a little bit more, like less skittish. Like when I look at George Kimmel, I'm like, oh, there was love and stability and like kindness. I can tell that too. Uh. Yeah, he's very even keeled. He doesn't have a lot of like really terrible days throughout the year. Is this true? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. He's a happy guy. Yeah. He's also the type of guy that I can call him, and I've done this before, 24 <laughs> 7. Oh. I feel like an asshole saying this. Uh-oh. Say it. What? <laughs> no matter what he's doing, I'll just go, I need yellow American spirits. 
He's like, I'm helping that, my child. And but. he's out on the other side of town. And a couple hours later, there'll be yellow and mercury spreads outside my house. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, you keep extras. You should just get a carton. That's what yeah. you do? Oh, That's you didn't know real. that he I didn't know he did that. I thought he went <gasps> you to thought the he store. Drove, uh, oh, you uh, thought he would go to the store every time. <laughs> <laughs> well, interesting. So it doesn't feel as good. He learned tactics. <laughs> he evolved. It's like he went to Costco and got a bunch of <laughs> I know. <laughs> Bought four no. cases. That's huh. thinking smart. That's thinking smart That's and right. working smart. Mm-hmm. You know? That's right. That's good. But I've always thought that Nora had um, good upbringing. Oh. She's a nice, you know, she's a nice person, you know? Mm-hmm. In fact, all the Asians... For the most part, in the business, mm. are really nice, right? Yeah, I, I don't. I think when you're doing your life's work that you love and you're surrounded by cool people, there's no reason not to be not nice. Yeah. I also think that maybe like the way that, that different upbringings, like I feel like there's there's something shitty about uh, you can find in in any upbringing. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Well, kids are sensitive, right? And we're yeah. learning about. I feel the like world. you fight your nature a lot. No, oh. like your nature is a very like tender-hearted, oh. like kind, soft being. But then he, <laughs> he, he really latches on to chaos and self-destruction a lot. Uh. And you fight your nature. Uh. Can I be both? I wish you were. You would. You know, you, you want to be the big bully to George, but you're not. You just aren't. Yeah. You want to be viewed as this guy who asks for, you know, who, who feels joy thinking about George driving 12 miles to get American spirit, you mm. know, yellow American spirits. You want to be, be perceived that way. But when you're at home, you're just I'm a little care bear. I'm the carriest oh. bear. You're the, yeah. Out of all the bears, bear. I'm the carriest bear. Yeah. 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 And the thing is, is that are you saying that when I call George and say, get me cigarettes, mm-hmm. That I'm not feeling any kind of power leverage of that, but I'm trying to fake it. I don't. I truly think that you want to be something that you're not. <laughs> like, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> His face is broken. It'll take a second. You know, right. it's like you're you're Maybe you're right. You're New, New Zealand's Jacinda on the inside, but you're you're trying to be Hitler on the outside. Wow. Yeah, wow. I don't want to be Hitler. Wow. I don't want to be Hitler. It doesn't feel right. It feels wrong. It should you, feel very wrong. That that's like. That's that might be like toxic masculinity. I think it's a Napoleon complex. Oh, He's so short Jesus. and round. <laughs> Fuck. Go keep going. <laughs> short, round. No, I, you know, I've had a I, I've had a lot of negative stuff. Why don't you keep going? That's Napoleon, a good thing. Napoleon complex, fat. What else? <laughs> <laughs> what else? Little angry little man, huh? No, Want to get his vengeance out in the world? No, it's angry little elf. Oh, I'm not movie. even fucking human? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm not even human in that. Oh, you're yeah, so I- cute and soft. Stop, just be that. Come. Um, guys, we are, and we will always, if they would have us, but we are partnering with Calm. Partnering. <laughs> We're partnering with Calm the number one mental wellness nap uh, to give you the tools that will improve the way you feel. Don't you want to know how you feel and feel good? Yeah. It's part of my nightly ritual. That's right. I brush my teeth, I take a shower, I cuddle up in bed, and I listen to the daily guided meditations. It improves my focus. Um, clear your head with these guided daily meditations. Improve your focus with Calm's curated music tracks and drift off to dreamland with Calm's imaginative sleep stories. And if you go to calm.com slash belly, you'll get a limited time offer of 40% off of Calm premium subscription, which includes hundreds of hours of programming. Can I say something? Uh-huh. Over 100 million people around the world use Calm to take care of their minds, sleep more, stress less, live better with Calm. What's your favorite sound on there? I love tweets, like a little tweety bird. They have little field recordings yeah, yeah, of yeah. nature. For listeners of the show, <laughs> Calm is offering a special limited time promotion of 40% off a Calm premium subscription at calm.com slash belly. Go to calm.com slash belly for 40% off unlimited access to Calm's entire library. That's calm.com slash belly. I hate ED. Yeah. Wait, also, no shame in ED, by the way. You know that... Fifty-two percent of men between the ages of forty and seventy will experience some form of erectile dysfunction. I wasn't shaming people with ED. I have it. 
<laughs> That's why I hate it, and I have it, and I'm a spokesperson. I'm it's used... more common than most people think. Everyone has it, baby. And the... what I'm saying that, it, that we have we have solutions. Roman Ready is confidence personified. It is the self assurance that comes from knowing you've prepared yourself for the moment when intimacy arrives. Roman system is completely confidential and totally discreet. No big logos or labels on packages. With Roman, mm -hmm. you get a free online evaluation. Evalu evalu <laughs> <laughs> With Roman, Vaginal. you get a free online evalu evaluation. Let me say it again. With, With Roman, Roman, you get a free online evaluation. 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 <laughs> An ongoing. Care. I have to do it. I have to do it. I'm sorry. Okay. Go I ahead. have to do it. Okay. Evaluation. Keep this in, George. All right. <laughs> Why? I like it. <laughs> All right. With, With Roman, Roman, you get a free online evaluation. And I'm going care. Look at my mouth. Look at my mouth. It doesn't mouth. matter. I'm moving on. <laughs> evaluation. Evaluation. Yes. And ongoing care yes. for erectile dysfunction, all from the comfort and privacy of your own home. You finish it. Go to GetRoman.com slash belly now to speak to a U.S. licensed healthcare professional about erectile dysfunction and get $15 off your first month of treatment. Getting started is simple. Just go to GetRoman.com slash belly and complete an online visit. Go to GetRoman.com slash belly today. And if you're prescribed, get $15 off your first month of ED treatment. That's GetRoman.com slash belly for $15 off your first month of ED treatment if prescribed. Make sure you're ready to have the confidence and control this fall. Roman ready. I think I'm going to, you know what? I think you just changed me. How? I think I'm just going to be that. Be that, Bobby. You're the kindest person I know. What's up? Did you meet Nora Hi. Aquafina? How are you? Hi. That's my niece. Oh, yeah. hey. Listen, that's just a podcast with she Bobby has and no Pantino. idea what's going oh, on. Oh, nice. Let me ask you. Is something. that what you're going to wear to do Jeremiah's podcast? Yeah. You're okay. in pajamas. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. <laughs> just come in. Come on in. Come on in. Come, you come in, in for a second. I need to talk to you about something. You do, she's Stand in the middle of the fucking room. She's doing a podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Number one, I've been gone for three weeks. When I saw you today. I said hi. I know, but you. <laughs> I, I know, but I want a hug. Yeah, but you didn't greet her happy birthday. Oh, I didn't know it was your birthday. Oh, oh my God. Wow. I didn't know it was your birthday. I'm so happy birthday. Thank you, Bobby. I haven't seen you three weeks. Okay, forget. See, that's why. Have Give fun. her the keys. Give oh, her the, the keys. keys. <laughs> I don't have them. <laughs> you made her stand in the middle. Oh, oh, they're right here. Do you want these? <laughs> one last thing, though. One last thing. One last thing. Yeah, have you been using the car? Yeah. All right. <laughs> when, just, sorry, sorry, sorry. No. When I went into the car earlier, yeah. right? What did the thing say? Two One. Oh, it wasn't her. It wasn't her. I can actually tell you it wasn't her. You. No, it was Marianne. She <laughs> took the car for three days and didn't fill it back up. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck face, Mary Ann took my car for three days? Yeah, she took her daughter to <laughs> Disneyland, though. Be nice. Oh, Disneyland. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Bye. 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 One last thing, one last thing, one last thing, right? You represent the family. You kill it on the podcast. It's a franchise, baby. She's gonna kill it. She's gonna kill it. <laughs> All right. You're gonna kill it. Bye. Don't make me look like a fool. Bye, Joel. All right. Drive safe. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I wasn't gentle there. No, you weren't. I went against my nature. Yeah, but you love her so deeply. Yeah. So you you read gas from like one. What does one mean? <laughs> <laughs> what does one mean? One bar of gas. <laughs> one bar of gas. Of gold. No, gas. Of gas. So it's like. It's like the equivalent of like one bar of like a phone. Yes, yes, yes. That's no, it's not equivalent. No, I, I disagree. No, do not do, not do that. What's just because <laughs> she's, do? Just because she's, you know. No, that's I mean? exactly like it is. It's like <laughs> no, don't phone. do that. No, You're wrong. You're what? absolutely wrong. No, there's six bars. Okay. Okay. It's not the same. Got it. Right? Eight bars. How many miles is one bar? Here's the deal, dude. <laughs> My brother and I, five years ago, rented a car, a Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> We were driving, you know La Cienega, you guys live in LA now, La Cienega. You know when you go to La Cienega Boulevard and it turns in the sunset? Yeah. You know exactly where that, yeah. how steep is La Cienega Boulevard it's there? It's pretty steep, huh? Fucking steep as fuck, would you say? Right, yes, yes. Okay. So one day on a Friday, five o'clock, I was going up that fucking road. It was raining. And Friday o'clock at five o'clock in that road is the worst traffic on planet Earth, yeah, and I ran out of gas there while it was oh. raining. Oh my God! Imagine what I caught with Stevie. With Stevie, uh, right? Him and I had gasoline all over our body because we didn't know how to open the fucking thing. So when we would pour it in the car, it would go on our body. Oh my God! We didn't oh, use the funnel. Oh, you were like funnel. siphoning it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah, my yeah, God! Yeah. And people were like, "Fuck you!" Like driving by, and going, 
fuck oh. you. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't know what I, you know what I mean? Yeah. So a doorman named Stephen Fury drove mm -hmm. by. He's no longer a doorman. He's a legitimate. He's a legitimate comic. comedian. But back then he was. I feel like I made him. <laughs> so throw that out there. But um, <laughs> like he made you from this experience. <laughs> Saved your yeah, ass. Yeah. So he. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he's like, I'm Stephen. I'm a doorman. I'll go get gas. So he went and got gas. He did it for us. We drove away, and he opened for me. Wow. Yeah. Mm. But my point is, ever since then. Even if it's a bar, Nora, I get scared that I'm gonna get run out. I'm gonna run out of gas. Don't you? You don't get scared. Mm. Um, I've been so poor that I've been on E Empty, yeah. so much oh, that I like know exactly. E oh yeah, because <laughs> it's call? like I put exactly five dollars in just to get to class. <laughs> oh, so really? I'm always hovering on E, so I know exactly uh, how many miles I have on my old Camry. There's always a dude that's like, nah. You, after that, it's twenty five miles. You good. 25, those yeah, right. 25 mile guys. Yes. You know? I feel like that's true because they can't, they're not going to leave us like that. Yeah. They can't leave us like they that. Can't. <laughs> Especially on a Prius, you have at least like 60 miles. Oh, that's like 100,000 miles yeah. after you. I don't know that. I've been telling you for eight I years. I don't like it. I just don't like it. I don't like the fear. Okay. Right? Yeah. Leave me two, three, two, three bars. Mm. The worst is when you're like, I don't know, I mean, if you've been to New York, like the I 87 and you're driving like in the middle of the night. It between like 30 mile exits and you don't know if when you can get gas next that's when it hits oh yeah. that's probably the worst yeah and then you go on your google maps or whatever right and then you you, you can it's so far away from where you are yeah yeah uh, that's that, scary. i can't do that panic. that's i feel the anxiety too yeah. yeah 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 does your car make a noise or i have a, yes yes it does what do you have a what <laughs> no, I, I. It does make a noise. Like yes. An electric Tesla? car Tesla? probably Tesla? doesn't need gas. <laughs> <laughs> Tesla? I no. Who's yes, who's no. a Tesla? It's if people have a Tesla. Yeah, people have Teslas. Yeah. I have friends that have Teslas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought you were talking about a Tesla earlier. I did. Wasn't. I can't afford it. <laughs> but um. <laughs> For the special people, do you have a Tesla? <laughs> what does a Tesla do? I didn't roll up here in a Tesla. No, I don't have a You have more than one car. Yes. You have five cars. No, no. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so what's doing well? That's all? No. Let me ask you this, Nora. I, I, I don't know. I mean, because, you know, we've seen each other the last couple of years. Yeah. But your life has changed dramatically. Would you say or no? I mean, <laughs> since we last hung, since the last, I mean. Yeah. No, since the last time you did Tiger Belly to now, right, you, would you say that your life has changed dramatically? I wouldn't say dramatically, but I'd say I've changed. And, and I think certain circumstances in my life have changed. Yeah. Yeah. And how was, I mean, dealing with it, are you, have you been good about it, healthy about it, or has it been stressful? Um, I think it's been stressful. Like, I feel like, uh, but I, I realized a couple things that, like, depression and, like, anxiety is a ghost that just comes to haunt you in different faces in your life, you know? And uh, I feel like sometimes my brain searches for things to go wrong and... You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, as long as it's, as long as I know that it's that, then yeah, but I try, and I also try not to get too carried away. I think like, I, I remember what it was like to be really broke. And I remember what it was like to just be happy to be anywhere. You yeah. know what I mean? So like, I, that hasn't escaped me. Yeah. I think it's important. I don't want to say his name. I'm not gonna say his name, but I know a guy that made it at 15, mm. right? He never had a day job. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And he's kind of a dick. Mm. Mm. Like, I, I have to admit. I mean, I, you know, you're saying that I'm a sensitive guy. I'm a nice guy. This mm -hmm. this guy's a fucking asshole. Mm -hmm. Like legitimate. Like what? And I like I want to look in his face and go, "You're a fucking asshole." <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But I'd never do it because he's big. <laughs> like a physically big guy, so he'd uh. smash me. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I don't get smashed in the face. You know what I mean? My point is, is that he never had a day job. Mm. You and I, what's the worst job you had, day job? Worst, uh, maybe an air conditioning company or something like that. You worked at an air what? conditioning company? Mm hmm Doing what? I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I, <laughs> really? There's like this show called Rocco's Modern Life where yeah. th there was, you ever seen that? Yeah. You know, Conglomo, his neighbors, uh, I forget what they were. They're like frogs. Frogs, I think frogs, yeah. So this one, he just enters in numbers. There's like a stack of papers, and you enter in numbers, and you just over and over again, and the stack gets littler. That's what I was doing. Oh my god, that, that seems miserable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you in a room? Yeah, like a room with other people. Yeah. Or you're? Are you in cubicles like they see, no. you see in the movies? No. Oh no. I've never seen those in real life. I think a snail. Oh yeah. Oh. What are they called? The 
what were they called again? Glum. The fat heads? I don't remember. Wow, yeah. So when you're doing this all day and then finally, you know what I mean, you're doing what you love doing and you're making a little money, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can remember. Yeah. Yeah. And you also, I think you also just remember what it's like to just, you know, um, just be treated like with shit all the time, like shit all the time, you know? Yeah. Like just being yelled at and stuff like that on the street <laughs> and stuff. I know. By customers. I you know. know. Do you ever feel like, um, we've talked to a couple friends, like, do you ever feel as though like who you are, let's say five years ago, has been like stifled a little bit or you have to be, you have to present a different way in a more appropriate way? I think... Yeah, sure. I think your authentic self will always exist within you. I think where and in the healthy conditions of of, of expanding that authentic self, mm. I think can be stifled by certain aspects of this industry, like yeah. which is, um, you know, you just you just kind of want to like uh, maintain a sense of self when when I think your sense of self and your perception of self is being is being different all around right. you all the time. So it's like, um, yeah, I, I, I yeah, that's really interesting. I sometimes feel like if I when I was working, when I was taking the subway all the time, when I was going to school in the city and like when I was hanging out with my friends, you know, doing B I B Y O B restaurants, things yeah. like that. Like I, there was a, a, a kind of a part of the zeitgeist that I felt I, if there was material for anything, like I feel like that was very rich in material because yeah. you're, you're observing things from like, uh, like a very like linear standpoint of like yeah. you're part of the culture. I feel like when you have, don't have a day job and you're in your house all day, which I do when I'm off, like you, you're not part of the, of any zeitgeist. Yeah. You're not a part of any moving thing. And I think that if feeling is stifling. And then I do get this fear that like, um, my mindset will be trapped into that of an immature 20 something year old, mm. which I, I still feel like I, I, I like come back to that t immature person, but like, uh, I don't want to feel trapped in that person. Yeah. Like I want to, mm. I can grow. You yeah. Know? When I was a younger comic, and I would talk yeah. to bigger comics, and I go, um, "Well, I'm, I can't. I, you know, I have to work at a club, and you know, I can't mm -hmm. eat. You know, this and that, right?" And I go, and I would go, "You guys must be so happy." Mm. But no, we don't. You know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Like I feel like there's all. Yeah, for sure. Like when I was first coming up, I, I would meet people and I'd be like, "Dude, you're you're like living the dream." And yeah. Just like you don't want to live my dream. <laughs> like, that, like, <laughs> that kind of thing. Where it's like you know, just you know. Yeah. Um, and I've said this, like the best days I think of my career in terms of the excitement and and not to say that I don't feel excited now, I, I do, it's different. It's like waiting for something to happen, but also <sighs> living within whatever means th that was. As as long as I can make $500 a month for my rent, mm. I'm like I'm yeah. good. I, you yeah. know? That's, that's a th another thing that you're saying that I agree with, which is when you're younger and you're in this business and you get a big job out of nowhere, yeah. right? That feeling, you can't beat it. No. Right? It's the best. It's the best feeling. You're like, who's in it? Yeah. But What's going also, on? There's this pressure also because you know it's a big job and you know it's out of your league so you could just step in, do it. You don't, your mind isn't even about owning it and succeeding, right? <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, just do it and don't, don't like die in the process. No, my, my thought's that. always, just get, I, this is my right. internal yeah. dialogue. Say your fucking lines. Get through it. You're fine. Yeah. You're fine. You, you know what you're doing. They don't see through you. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. You belong here. And I have to do these like mental exercises to my, you're fine, you fucked up and the line's fine, everyone fucks up. I, like, I, if I fuck up on a line, I wanna go like this. I don't wanna sit and do it now. But this is my gut reaction. Okay, That's, you could do give, it. Give me you... a line. Uh, Harriet's gonna be here tomorrow. <laughs> Harriet's gonna be here tomorrow. Oh, fuck! Oh uh, yeah. I, that's my gut. What? It's okay. A lot of people do that, by the way. I know. I did, I yeah. I've done that. I lot. know. It's yeah. so hard not to, but it freaks people out. No, it, I, it doesn't. You don't think it does? No. But, uh, well, okay, here's what you need to know about. Okay. They, Sorry, they have seen everything, right? They've seen everything. So, like, that's just, they just know that that's your way of doing it. And also, the more endearing, vulnerable, cute part is that you care, right? right. So, it's not like you're fucking up the line and you're like, hey, I'm going to fuck up the line and I'm not, I don't even care. Yeah. But you're, you're, there's a process going on. If anything, I think that they just don't want you to think too much and be too um, messed up by it. Because, you know, I mean, no one wants to see that. No one wants to see it, yeah. But yeah. I don't think that they think you, they're freaking out and they think that you're weird. I think that they, if anything, it's cute. Yeah. And Dumb literally gave me these exact chairs. I'm sorry to call him out. I don't want to call him out. He's just biting. I don't want to call him out. He's just biting and I'm, biting. No, they're, and they're blue. They're blue, but they're exact. 
fucking snake fuck. You loved him at one point. No, he <laughs> Korean fuck. You loved him, man. Wow. You right, loved him at it. one point earlier today. Yeah, earlier today. Not even. All right, um, dumbfounded. Yeah, tell him. I'm sorry, dumb. Dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. I know that I'm more artistic than you. <laughs> I know that my visual color stylings and um, well, well, I'll just say though please, they're, they're green speak. and pink. It it it's a little better than ours. If I had thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> what you what <laughs> what you're doing right now? I what you're doing right now? I love green and peach together. It's a great combo. <laughs> That's gonna be a tough one to. It's a wrong. Th whatever you're doing right now is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wrong thing. I don't know what else to say to you. It's, it's the wrong thing. Let me go back to dumb now. Dumb. <laughs> You rat fuck, right? <laughs> I know that you're, the way you walk is like kind of like mine. Oh. Oh, yeah. A little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you look at if you look at him walk, if his long... Your, if you close your eyes. If you close, close, no, your, eyes, if you close your eyes and your ears. <laughs> no. But from afar, if you see me and Dumbfounded walking on a prairie, uh... right? From afar, right? You have binoculars. All right? Imagine you two... Are, well, but not you're a prairie. Mm -hmm. You see me dumb walking across, right? <laughs> you wouldn't see you your head through the reeds. <laughs> and you'd be in a waddle. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Oh, my God. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun what you do. You see the tip of this beanie <laughs> through the grass. That's fun. <laughs> That's fun stuff. But I would see it literally moving in the same silhouette. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, so you stole that from me. Um, okay. Secondly, you stole my the color design <laughs> of our podcast. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And now, fuckface, what you're doing oh, no. is you're looking at furniture of, our, of ours because you know it's good furniture, <laughs> and you're going, "Wow, you know what I mean?" I but he some. gave them to me. He's not using them. That even hurts more. <laughs> <laughs> what you're saying to me, he's gifting people your style. No, what he's doing is he orders stuff. Oh, no. Right, oh, stuff dear. that we have. Yeah, he tries it at home, <laughs> and he looks at it and goes, "This is junk." Mm -hmm. Right, I'm gonna give this away to Nora. Is that what he's doing? Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what he did. Oh, yeah, exactly. What he did. You fucking mm, Korean rat. <laughs> oh, You're a Korean rat, dude. And you know what, dude? We'll work together. But I don't know, man. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You fucked up. There's huh? something that broke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> anyway, um. Yeah. You know, wherever we go, Nora, we take ourselves with us. Yeah. So no, no matter what is going on in your life, you think you can fantasize and go, if I made this money or if I did this or this, you know, at the end of the day, you generally feel the same. Oh, totally. Yeah. I think I feel sadder today than I ever have in my whole life. Why? I don't know. She feel, she's depressed. I'm super depressed. Right now? Yeah. She's glummy. It's more than that. Yeah. You're going to cry right now? No, I'm not going to cry. No, cry. Oh, no. I want you to cry. But I, I, I go through big <laughs> like ups and, down, ups and downs. It's sure. just, this is right on time, I think. Usually November is when it starts for me. Do you find that it's, oh, so it's a seasonal. You feel it like can it's... be. I have uh, bipolar too, so my yeah. mania is not high, but my depression is real low. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like my, I, I have uh, like a cyc cyclical aspects to my mood that I'm starting to notice now, like a monthly aspect to my mood. Yeah. Mm. I feel like I go between like really angry and like like overconfident in like a, a, in not a lit way. Yeah. And and just like whatever like yeah. what, and then <laughs> and then like really fragile too. I'm like whatever. <laughs> yeah. And then to like actual fragile sad. Well, I call those days the angry and confident in a row. I call those um um my sister and I call those the rony days, the testosterone days, oh. where it's like closer to your periods, your estrogen's completely depleted. Yeah. Oh. I feel like an asshole of a dude. Right, yeah. yeah. Like I just want to like eat all the yeah, yeah, yeah. nachos and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and then I get like kind of like scared. I get, like, <laughs> I, like, I, I, like, and then it devolves into like paranoia. I guess, is that like, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe yeah, I go through all You smoke those, weed? Like, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. A lot? Um, not like not not uh, not as much as when I was younger. And younger, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Do you yeah. think that it inhibits paranoia or? I don't, I think people that have been doing it for a very long time, yeah. right, are used to it. Yeah, I know dudes that smoke weed and can act, like be completely high and go on a movie set and kill it. Oh yeah, I'm not that. I can't do that. Would you I, be able to do that? Uh, not well. No, I yeah. I, I think I. I I would get too much in my head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Would you get high? Let's say, because sometimes, like, just let me hear you out. Mm -hmm. 
sometimes you know the next two scenes you don't have any lines. Oh, so it's like vacation scenes. <laughs> so oh, yeah, 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 vacation yeah. where I'm just crossing. A- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or sometimes they make you do like a thing where you're the reverse. So you just have to say one line to, you know what I mean? Right, right. Right, so you're just standing there, right? Would you get high for that? If I was going to get high in any in any scenario, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a hand insert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you think that some high guy would be like, see your hands in a movie and go, like, oh, she's, she's high. Totally, yeah. <laughs> Reese no, even Reese for hand hey, insert. Show me high and non-high hand insert. All right. So probably... Um, <laughs> I don't know how to do this, but let me try. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let me try. That's your camera? Camera. Right. Yeah. All right, so um, a normal insert mm-hmm. would be like this. Okay. What are you doing too, by the way? What? Oh, no, I'm, I'm, no, um, come in and just and just like turn off the... Just un- oh, yeah. So it's a little music box, so you have to come into the box and then music unwind box? It. I've never seen a music box before. This big, like this. Oh, I, I see it with one of those little things. <laughs> yeah. Just one round, though. You or, or one go. round? One round? Yeah, the oh. props guy is angry, too. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> angry props guy. <laughs> so, yeah, so don't test them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because they always make you give you a conversation <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. dude, you know, there's only one of these, man. So it's like, you, you got to be real, yeah. man. <laughs> and it's and you're super like, fragile. And you're like, it's a million dollar fucking movie. You can't <laughs> get the, more than one. It's the personal property of our executive producer. <laughs> great right, grandma. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's from Egypt, dude. 17th century. <laughs> and you're like, music box from Egypt. So um, this is how I would do it. Um, normal, right? Okay. I'm not going to get this right because I take longest with insert shots. Really? Yeah, there was one scene where <laughs> I was in Hawaii last week. <laughs> what? I think it takes six hours. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because there was a scene where I was running, I was doing magnum. Uh. I was running down the hallway and some guy grabs me from running this way. So I'm running this way. The camera's here and he throws me against the wall, mm-hmm. right? And he goes full force. Mm-hmm. Uh. So I get kind of knocked back. Is it a stunt? It's kind of a stunt, right? Oh. And I have to now, he's got a gun in my face like this. Oh, oh right? I and see I have it to intercepts take, you. Right, right. And I had to take a phone from my jacket in like three seconds That's and put it in his fucking pocket, which is fucking like, I don't know where it is because it's one of those felty jackets. Oh no. Where you don't know where the opening is. It's like one of those Uniqlo finance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to get some wall like this being lifted up. And cut. It's got to be quicker, uh, Bob. I know. I got to uh, find the fucking pocket. <laughs> Why do those shots have to be practical? Is They don't have to be practical. What do you mean? Like they could cut away and do that. Separate. Okay, exactly, man. Yeah, I I agree. I'm agree- I'm on your side. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like get closer so that we don't have to do the run and the and the slam, right? It's just gonna bulk up the scene, right? And then I remember one time, one of the um, wardrobe people took his two fingers and opened the pocket up. Oh. <laughs> right? no, he did. I don't like that. So that no, like so that, that I didn't know. So I can get the fucking <laughs> the phone in quicker and the director goes no man put the pocket back on, against the thing right and I'm like I can't see it <laughs> like he did that so like you look in the pocket is oh. now being propped up oh, oh no. no oh no and that's when the prop guy gets see that see that George <laughs> why did you do that why did you oh, do that George oh, I'll do it you want me to do it nah man oh, you're God. the star sit down I'll do it <laughs> Yeah. Thanks, George. That's um, it's very yeah. where hand inserts, please. Mm. Oh yeah. So what's a my bad, my bad. Standard, standard. one wind. So um, Wait, one wind. Say action. Yeah, one wind. And I gotta put my hands. Can I put my hands in the and fucking the prop frame? guy is literally here and he's like chewing Nicorette <laughs> right here. <laughs> right, right, and right. he's like, let's go. Come <laughs> yeah, on, yeah, make yeah. me proud. So go ahead. Back to one. Background rolling and action. Wow. Wow. That right. was good, dude. You you should are, ins- are you being real right yeah, now? Yeah, you 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 really good at like I guess it's pantomime. Are you good at pantomime? <laughs> that was I, I really good. I feel like it wasn't good, and I feel like you're just trying to give me a compliment. no. That was really good. Stop. All right, All right. so your- let's All go right. high. Uh, everyone, take okay. a quick lunch right. and uh, don't smoke before this. What kind food. of? Hi- oh yeah, no, with a warning too. All right, don't hybrid. S- don't smoke. Uh, on I, smoke <laughs> I, I smoke. No. A <laughs> and indica. Like out of what a bong? You take a bong rip or? You- I did six bong rips. <laughs> I did six bong rips, three right? <laughs> Shit. With tequila in the bong. Yeah. Right? And a Does bunch of it work? went into your mouth because yeah. you like overfilled your top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did six and I'm like, then I have to do the things. We're doing the insert today? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we gotta do I mean it's things are moving around, dude. We got an eighty six <laughs> seventy seven, so you gotta come in right now and do it. Oh don't you hate when they do that? Uh yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have to do it in five minutes. 
this monologue? We're losing light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So here, here we go. We're All losing right. light. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Background. Rolling. Take five. Action. What the fuck's he doing? Oh, my God. What the fuck's he doing? What's wrong with his fucking hands? His wrist is broken. <laughs> what the fuck is he? What, what kind of wine is that? <laughs> that's higher. That's, yeah, that's rough. What do you mean that's rough? Like this? That you're opening a box like You have this. loose, loose wrists? No, I have carpal tunnel in both hands. You oh. do? No. Only, only, only <laughs> inflamed when I take six bong rips. <laughs> yeah, it's one so of those. He did the normal so good with the carpal tunnel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I hate those. I hate insects. I would be hesitant. So what I do a lot that I, I think drives people crazy is I'll go in and I'll be like, sorry, I'm going to do it again. And I'll cut myself off even. And then sometimes they'll be like, don't cut yourself off because that was oh. good. Uh -huh. And you cut yourself off. And then I'm like, well, I'm a fucking double idiot then. Yeah. You, you ever know, argue like, a, with a director? About how good you are? No, just no. <laughs> no. Whoa, I, feel like you, I feel like you would get into arguments. You're so good. It's like, I was shit. You were so good, Bobby. You wouldn't believe it. No, I mean saying they give you a note that you don't agree with. I don't argue. No. I do. Well, like give an example of like an art. Well, you don't have to because do a real I, life one, but. Uh, no, I'm going to give a real life. Okay. No, no real life. No, you don't have to. Don't give a real yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, it's well give a happened. hypothetical. Hypothetical one. But that's similar to the real life experience. Yes. All right. It's similar. Yeah. Don't use names. So he goes. This guy goes. There was a, a line somebody had right, and um, I had a line afterwards. But in my head, I'm like, it's so much funnier if if you say the line, interrupting him, so he has to stop. Sure. It's in this specific thing. So I do it one time that way during rehearsal, and it gets a laugh from yeah, Video Village for sure. Oh yeah. So I go, my choice. All right. Action, do it again. Director goes, cut. He comes up to me, he goes, leave like a gap. No. Oh. Hmm. What gap? Between the, his line, wait 20 seconds, and 20 then seconds. say your fucking line. Did he let you have one in the can where you... No, it wasn't even the can yet, right? Uh -oh. It wasn't the can it yet? Was, no, because it was a rehearsal when I did it. So I go, it, I, I'm telling you right now, dude, I, this is how I talk. Oh, man. I, I respect you. <laughs> big time director. But you're, what? Big you're a big time director. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, thank you for so much for the job. <laughs> no, I'll just be like, dude, like I, I, I'm telling you right now, it's just funnier this way. Yeah. And then I just didn't stop. I think I just did it that way. You, his you way. didn't his way. I didn't do it his way. I feel like this person was a friend. He, I know him. What did he say? Okay, so yeah, yeah. a friend. Yeah. What did he? Did he, he and he just gave up. He just never said anything. I promise you, you would never do this to, with. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's certain. You know, yeah, yeah. Had you directed you in anything? No, no, I haven't. He's a screamer. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like. He broke his soul, screaming. He broke my heart. <laughs> I broke your heart. Hey, uh, okay. why is the sides in your hand? Uh oh. I go. I just. He goes. Oh god, we pay these fucking actors all this fucking money. They can't even fucking memorize their Wow. Mm -hmm. Right? And you're just like, oh, drop it. Like, yeah. you guys are friends, though. Yeah. I took a photo. Oh, you guys are like best friends. No, this is what happened. <laughs> I was sitting there going, I'm never going to do the show again. He like, was sitting he cried. There. I was crying, right? That and was me on a phone right there that he had just called me crying. Yeah, yeah. Huh. And he sits next to me. And he's one of those white dudes that everything that comes out of his mouth is Asian. Oh. oh, I did a tour in Laos. Uh. <laughs> right? and, and just out of nowhere, and you're just, as an Asian guy, you have to, you know what I mean? You have to kind of uh, pander uh, to it. Yeah. You know, right? So you go, oh, yeah, Laos, crazy. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, I mean, I, your people, and then they'll put you in it. <laughs> your people are just a spiritual people. You know what I mean? And you're like, dude, I watch regular shit. Like, I know what's going on politically. You can bring up anything. Mm -hmm. You mean? Not like, he's, I remember the plane ride I had where this white guy goes, he looks at me and he goes, this random white guy goes, my daughter loves Hello Kitty. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I, go, I didn't invent it. <laughs> In Laos, you right? Know what I mean? but people, you know how white people sometimes bring up Asian shit just to have a conversation with you? Does that ever happen? Or is that? Sure, yeah. To connect. No, does it happen to you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah. And then, so he's one of those. But that was like, <laughs> he's just, his first line to me, I'm going to get in so much Did trouble. Did he play? Yeah. Yeah. The original. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah I, He's a great actor. I love him. He's one of the best directors in the world. <laughs> in fact, cut the whole thing out. You're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a way to do it where we're doing it. It feels good to get it through. out, just vent. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, but we For can sure. edit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, The thing with, with guys that, like, talk generally at you like that is, like, 
oh man, did we not have a connection? <laughs> it's like, oh, right. it's like, did you, you hate me so easily? <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. treat me like, and maybe that's like, I think that's also like a power dynamic too. It's it's a mm. way to mm. to keep you at a certain like to 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 your roles, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's like it's. You know, a lot of people are from the old school of Hollywood. Yeah, definitely. And there were screamers back then. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And they, not as much. Like, you don't see, <laughs> I've never seen a young director scream. No. You know, but they're using tight pants and they're wearing, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Aviator Nation, whatever they're wearing. And, um, yeah. <laughs> whatever. They're fancy. listening to the dirty projector. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's a, I love the dirty projector. I love them. Yeah, yeah. They're amazing. They're from Canada? I don't know. I think they are. I love that album. Google it. Yeah. I love the dirty projectors, but, um, they're those guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. They're cool. Yeah, they yeah. know where the best coffee is. Yeah, they all, I would just move to Altadena. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yesterday a director told me, she goes, you're a comic, so I'm going to talk to you in a different way because you guys just work differently. Oh, oh, cool. And I'm like, are you from Jesus's clan? I mean, you're the best. How, how, is, how is it different, the, the way she talked? She was, she understood, because she's friends with Margaret Cho. Oh, cool. Right, so she's just like, you know, I worked with Margaret before, so this is just the way. So it's like, it feels like a, when a director understands that, like, you know, I'm not, I've never taken an acting class, really, as you can tell when you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, uh, 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 and, uh, but, um, yeah, I just feel like um, she's just cool, like, she's young and cool, and she's, she's a different nationality. That's cool. It's cool, yeah, yeah, you know. That's cool. <laughs> Helix sleep Ooh. for your back yeah. and the rest. Mm. You guys, Helix sleep is one of those things where we use it in the house. We love mattresses. We like high quality mattresses. Uh, my brother Steve, I've said this before, but we gave him a Helix sleep mattress and he just loves it. Every day he calls. Every day he calls and he says that he loves it. And um, Helix sleep has a quiz that takes just two minutes to complete and matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Why would you buy a mattress made for someone else? With Helix, you're getting a mattress that you know will be perfect for the way you sleep. For example, I run hot. I'm a side sleeper. So I chose the midnight medium. Everybody's unique and Helix knows that. So they have several different mattress models to choose from. They have soft, medium, and firm mattresses. Mattresses great for cooling you down if you sleep hot like me. Mattresses, mattresses great for spinal alignment to prevent morning aches and pains. And even a Helix Plus mattress for plus size sleepers. I took the Helix quiz and I was matched with a midnight mattress because I wanted something medium and I sleep on my side. Hmm. And Bobby Love does it. too. I do too. We're both side sleepers. So if you're looking for a mattress, you take the quiz, you order the mattress that you're ma matched to, and the mattress comes right to your door, ship free. You don't even need to go to the mattress store again, guys. Finish it out. Helix is awesome, but you don't need to take our word for it. Helix was awarded the number one best overall mattress pick of 2020 and by GQ and Wired Magazine. Just go to helixsleep.com slash belly. Take their two-minute sleep quiz, and they'll match you to a customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your Live. They have a 10 year warranty and you get to try it out for 100 nights risk free. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash belly. That's up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows at helixsleep.com slash belly. Helix. Zip recruiter, yeah. zip recruiter. If you wanna work or you wanna hire, zip, zip recruiter, recruiter is where you, you desire it. <laughs> you guys. ZipRecruiter, dude, I'm, I'm telling you, if you have a business and you need employees, ZipRecruiter is the best, you know, f service to get involved with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I not right? I did you so know right. that there are- I know everything. Go ahead. <laughs> did you know that there are over 10 million job openings, but only 7.6 million unemployed job seekers? And this issue is being worsened due to a mismatch of employers and qualified talent. So employers, oh. like Bobby said, if you're having to go above and beyond to entice people to want to work for them, ZipRecruiter is for you. Yeah. Um, ZipRecruiter uses a powerful technology, and I love technology, you know that. I'm like Trump, I love technology, <laughs> to find and match the right candidates up with your job. Then it proactively presents these candidates to you. 
You can easily review these recommended candidates and invite your top choices to apply for the job, which encourages them to apply faster. Um, it's no wonder that ZipRecruiter is the number one rated hiring site in the U.S. based on G2 ratings. Let me ask you something. I want, I'm thinking about maybe getting a, an assistant. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go through ZipRecruiter. I think you should. You think I should? You should yeah. do it. Yeah, I'm excited. Go ahead. Wrap it and, up. And right now, you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash belly. You can try ZipRecruiter for free at this exclusive web address, ZipRecruiter.com slash belly. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash B-E-L-L-Y. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way Wait, to travel. hire. To hire. Hire. People think they have low self-esteem. I don't, okay? No, I know who you are, too. You. I know you, too. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and it just, you know, it just makes me feel good that you're here. <laughs> I love you. I wish I wish that I could honestly. I, I love hanging out with you, Bobby. But I wish I could hang out. I've never really hung out with Kalila. Uh, do you have her number? I well, I have. Well, we talk on Instagram yeah, a we lot. Do. We yeah, talk yeah. about. We guts. should hang out. Oh yeah, yeah, Gus. Yeah. Have you seen? Oh my God, you have not seen her dog and cat love on each other. Oh yeah, it, they're better. He, no, he has what? better she animals than us. She shared it when she walked in here today. Uh, sweetie, it's our dream come true. <laughs> Look well, you want cats and dogs to get along in this house? Well, we have four dogs and three cats. So the dogs sort of mingle amongst themselves and the cats do their own cat Oh, thing. they don't. They don't. They're not lovely. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, that makes me so jealous. So cute. What? Wait, wait, really? wait, wait. Yeah. Be, okay, so. Our clans don't. The clans don't mix here. Oh, that's. Well, they have room. They have room to be on their own. That's yeah. Nice. No, it, our animals are like, you know, let's let's suppose, you know, um, our dogs are like. Italians, <laughs> and the cats are like Syrian refugees. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were going to say greyhounds. <laughs> no, okay. no. Like no, you know, they're okay. walking through Italy, right, trying to find a home, you know what I mean? And they just, they don't inter... <laughs> what? Greyhound, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, greyhounds are going to have a sweet demeanor. <laughs> oh, fucking greyhounds. <laughs> have you seen those Italian greyhounds? I've seen, I know what a gray, Italian greyhound They're is. called Iggy's. They always look nervous. Yeah. And like, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's so cute. But, but they're best friends? They're not best friends, but they get along. I think they don't understand each other, uh -huh. but they tolerate each other because they don't want to. They don't. They don't want to be alone in the house. I guess. Yeah. So let me ask you something. Uh huh. When you're out of the house and you're driving around doing errands, they're by themselves. Yes. Together. Yeah. And do they? Do you have cameras inside the house just to see what they're up to? I ha yeah. I have some like when I have <coughs> pet cube cameras. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. When you're on the road. I do, yeah. That's what I, I do. do. I, all I do is think about Kalila first. <laughs> Look at that head turn. Number They're way one, more Kalila. innocent. It's like they don't know when you leave and stuff like that, you know? That's what's They sad. don't know what it's about. They don't well, know. Well, our dogs, um, they start to have anxiety when we pull out the suitcases. Suitcases. Yeah, they're when the, Yeah, for sure. They know. They know. Yeah. Yeah, and also, I think the dogs think I'm a magician. Why? Like a traveling music. Like <laughs> no, they just look at me and they go, this guy is pure magic. Like when we lived in the apartment and we get on the third elevator, right? And you get on and then the door opens and we're on a different level. And they used to look up to me like, wow, you have power. <laughs> and I used to like not go, oh, this is the elevator. I would be like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? But like they think that you're magical. They, you feed them. So you're their, their kind of life source, mm -hmm. I guess, right? Sometimes I want to tell them, you, you, like, you know, I'm pretty cool. You know? like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Respect. Don't even understand. What kind yeah. of food do you give them? Um, I give my cat was really good on like dry food for a while and he's very not picky, but then I felt bad because I was feeding the dog wet food, so now I feed him wet food and he'll, <laughs> he'll scream at you if you don't put the wet food out. Oh, really? Wow. He's he's very vocal, he's so smart. But do you get high end shit or do you because we get high end shit? Well, you do for sure, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. Well, do you change up their up their food a lot? I, I don't. I have a service that delivers like real food to oh, my house. Oh. So I always mix that. Um, actually, I don't mix it all. It's just real food all the time. That's awesome. Do you find that they just don't get sick of that? They don't because sometimes it's lamb. Sometimes it's this. Sometimes yeah. it's that. So. Can we plan a, a barbecue or something? Yeah. Want? I want dumbfounded there. Yes. <laughs> I need dumbfounded so I can yell Let's at Let's do them. a Korean barbecue, yeah. Oh. Why can't we do that one day, just have a Korean day? Yeah. You mean call other Koreans? <laughs> right? no, yeah. And Asians. I mean, you're not a Korean. Like, I'm other Asians. half Korean. I'm you're half Korean, Korean yeah. Dude. So we open it up to other... Oh, my God. I'm not trying to take away your Korean. No. Okay. <laughs> you know, that's not who I am, right? No. I enjoy the half of your... No, you, you, you were a Korean unifier. 
Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we we should have oh, just a one sh- day, don't you think? Yeah. To unite us. Yeah, we can invite John Cho. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you talked to John Cho? Last week. Last week. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I love him. <laughs> sorry. sorry. I, I, I love him. You know who I love? Who? Lori Tension. Oh my gosh, I love her. I She's, did a movie with her. Yeah. Right? She's yeah. on your show. She loves you. She talks about you all the time. I love her too. And when I was at the show and when I would do perform in New York, she, you would, see shows at Gotham. she would come into Gotham mm-hmm. and hang out with me. She's really great. And you know what I also love about her? And you have to admit this. Oh. People like Lori had it so much harder oh, yeah. than us. Yeah. For sure. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. Like I when I'm in um Hawaii, I sometimes eat with Amy Hill. Oh, I love oh, Amy. I love Amy. Hill. I love Amy. Yeah. And I always look at her and I go, God, I, I just, I look up to you so much. She's like, why? Just eat your chicken. And right, I right, 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 right. <laughs> and, 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 and I always go, no. Because the shit, that, even the shit that I went through, right? I mean, imagine what she went through in the yeah, 80s. For sure. yeah. Right? Asian accent. You know what I mean? Either some sort of fucking Coke clerk. or the, No, a, co- a coat clerk. Checking. Yep. No. A checking clerk. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. Right or because she did play a ch- coat clerk once on a, in a movie, and or Lori or Amy, Amy. Lori, no Lori did. She was right. in, oh, you know Lori she was in. Did? She was in Glen Gary, Glen Ross. <gasps> oh. Great movie. Mickey she Blue. She had Mickey Blue Eyes. Right, Mickey Blue Eyes. Yeah. She Devil, one of my favorite. Oh right, movies. She Devil. That's right. Yeah. But the, you know she, you know someone like Lori gets a line, maybe nothing. Yeah. Someone right, and it's like, no, she's as good as everyone else, right? But yeah. she doesn't get the opportunity, and it's like. I'm so happy that people like Amy and what am I not? What because it's, this has to do with Asians that you're not interested? <laughs> what? Out of nowhere? Well, if we're talking about Robert Redford or Steve McQueen, you'd be fucking I I I silly right now. <laughs> Robert Redford. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Care yeah. bear, care bear. Who? You. I'm care the curious bear. bear. <laughs> you're right. Why do I? Why do I? Is just this go every this? time you have to just kind of like? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every fucking time. Oh. I apologize, Dan. Care bear. <laughs> care bear. He's taking notes. Yeah. He was taking notes. I, are you sick of this fucking Squid Game bull fucking shit? Man? It's like, why are you sick of you it? I love it. Every fucking white dude come uh, Squid Game, Squid Game. They always say Look it. Look at my uh, nails. They're inspired by Squid Game. Let me see. The little lines oh, and wow. stuff. Cool. Yeah, those are awesome. I mean, it's a cultural phenomenon, right? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. It was pretty good. It's good. Yeah. I, you know why I liked it? Wow. I'd never seen uh, an Asian male character with that many flaws. That that didn't have any kind of redemption, right? Which I think was a big theme of it. Um, and also, I like the way that they portray um, degenerate gambling. I oh, right. You don't often see, you often see like Vegas and like, I'm pulling the casino tonight. Right. But you don't, you don't see like how that really draining ATM accounts and like mm. screaming and it's like you're just in your own misery, you know? Yeah. But he does change in the movie, which I liked. Where in the beginning he just is, to me, was unsympathetic in the sense that yeah. like, I feel like he was weak mm-hmm. and like kind of like you're well weak you're, and, and he gives into bad things. And yeah, yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he steals from his mom to right. get, like, gamble. This, you know, no, what I mean? they set him up good. to right. have no redemption in that yeah. first episode. But still, halfway through the movie, he does become braver. Sure. Yeah. And he become he changes more into a kind of a man. And yeah. but I think that was always who he was. Right. It was just you know. His vices. Yeah, his, his vices that got in the way of, like, you. It's like, you're a Care Bear on the inside. I think he was, too. But it's like life and his, you know, vices got in the way. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. But even the way he dealt with his daughter in the beginning. Right. Mine would have Well, that's good. a man that's hiding. That's a man that doesn't, that knows he's yeah. without redemption. Mm. You uh, know? Like, he, yeah, he, yeah, he's yeah. given up. Yeah. You know? But who do you think the worst person in the movie was? The worst person in the in that in the show. Yeah, the show, yeah. The doctor. What doctor? That doctor. His, the, his brother. His um, the guy who was quote, matched quote. up during the marbles with the with the Indian guy. Uh, oh, yeah, that sounds I, like he's is he, was that, he a doc- was He's not the not, he, not the doctor. He wasn't the, the doctor. He was. Wait, yeah, no, he was a he his was, friend growing up. Right, the, the business guy. The business guy. The business guy. Yeah. yeah. That's a piece of shit right there, man. I didn't like him. Yeah. He turned out to be a piece of shit. I, I didn't finish it. 
Mm. <laughs> wow. hey, say something, Nara. I didn't say Finish something. It. No, <laughs> I watched most of it. I watched most of to? it. What did you get to? Did you like get to the marbles? Four, five, part? four, five. That's not most of it. That's half. Yeah. Did yeah. you get to the marbles? We're giving her all the edges. Uh, <laughs> Three. I got up to three. <laughs> I got up to three. There are no marbles. There's no marbles. I got up to the blue and the uh, blue yeah. and the red paper. No one dies. I don't know what's bullshit about it is you you have no right to even talk about the movie. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I saw like twenty percent. Right, 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 right. I know, but I see. I you stop myself gifts. when it gets to that part. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, you keep calling it a movie too, which is kind of weird. Show. Yeah. Sorry. You guys should watch T10. Have you heard of that movie? Mm -hmm. What is it? T10. It's real. I saw it last night. It's crazy. Okay, so T10. I want to watch something tonight. Yeah, T10. It's really good. Wait, what's the one? It's, um, she like has sex with a car. I don't know. Ooh, I'm into that. Oh, it's so good. T-I-T-A-N-E. T10. Yeah. Have you seen, was it The Call or The Calling? The Call. Mm -hmm. It's a Korean movie. Remember the girl who... Um, communicates with um, the girl in the past. Oh, that was a good one. Whoa. Wait, hang on. What's it called? Whoa. The Call? Yeah, it's on yeah. Netflix. The Call it Netflix. fucked me the call. up. I think it's called The Call. Uh, but the movie that I highly recommend, I'm going to stand and say it. Is it oh, this one? Oh, okay. Wait, let me see. I, I highly recommend everyone watching the movie Malignant. Oh, yeah. That was crazy, dude. Did you see it? I had a weird thought that maybe we could talk about Malignant today. I want to talk about Malignant. <laughs> Well, yeah. All right. Have you seen Malignant? I haven't seen it. No, but that was a. Cr- oh, cool. nice. Oh, cool. This is the, the call. call. Well, mal- okay, everyone, listen. I'm very excited. Okay, uh-huh. so, so Malignant is this. Oh. When you're what? Wa- Did you know what it was going to be about? No. That's why, right? Oh, but I just like why this surgical intro, and then I was like, that's why. <laughs> I know, right? Right. Need surgery. I'm so excited that you're. So, so the first hour of the movie, you're just like almost going. Oh, I'm done. Like, like, I didn't, like, I thought it was hacky, some of it. I didn't know what was going on, too. Well, I felt like it was head. a lot of setup, and I was like, well, well yeah, that's is, what, it was. what could this possibly be? Yeah. Right. And then it's one of those movies, when you find out what it is, you go, uh, why? What? But also, like, you know, like, there's some movies that you loved growing up that give you no resolution. That, still, to this day, no resolution. Yeah. And I feel like it gives you resolution and like more, and like also like a punch in the face. Like, for, <laughs> if you ever wanted resolution, like it gives it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's a couple of scenes in there, especially the prison scene, mm. right? Where when you realize that's when you realize you go, "What is this?" Yeah, but right. <laughs> right, right, right. You're right when they they go off, and it's like, um, I really high, highly recommend What's it. What's it on? It, it was on HBO Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah I but think it's still on. Is. You can get it on iTunes. Yeah, and stuff. yeah. yeah you, but, you know, a guy that opened up for you was in that movie. What? Remember, As you're right. This guy, Dan Ramos. Dude, that's one. Of, you know why I didn't watch it? Oh, shit. Because this fuck right here, uh. every time I would run into this fuck, he always talks he to was, me. He would go, hey, you know, I'm in a big movie. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, I know, man. He's like, it's malignant, dude. It's, dude you're what? in so many big movies, dude. Who is? You or you're going to be. I'm in one movie coming out. That's yeah, a big, the big, 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 <laughs> a big movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and you. Let me ask. Can I ask you this? Yeah. This is from, from I'm gonna get on my knees. Okay. Oh, okay. Can you tell when you're doing a movie if it's good? No, I I can't tell if it's good or bad. Me too. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for participating. Norm. But 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 I think that when something's really bad, like really bad, you could feel that more than you can feel when it's really good, because sometimes the really good ones. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting to me. So what you, if it's really bad, you kind of go, oh, I'm on a train wreck right now. Yeah, but then you have to also measure your place on it, right? Is it really bad and do I have enough say to actually change how bad it is? And if I don't, then I probably am not that important in this anyway. So mm. It's not going to affect it's you. It's not a big deal, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that I don't think that's really ever happened. I've never been a part of something that I really cognizantly was like, this is so bad. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Have you? Oh, yeah. You don't have to talk about it, but I sure. want to. I'm going to. Yeah, you know. I wasn't kicking it old school. <laughs> you I feel like there's so many one. times you're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. don't talk. You don't have to talk about it. You don't have to say names. It's like, no, I am. I'm going to say the I'm fucking names. Go. Yeah. I'm I was in say. kicking it old school breakdancing movie. I played Chilly Chill. Yeah. Right? And Don't you underestimate yourself there. I love that movie. People, old school? Kicking it old kicking school. Kicking it old school. It was a breakdancing break movie with Jamie movie. Kennedy. 
And um, I've said this before, but they couldn't find a body double for me. <laughs> but they could find a Filipino woman with my body. <laughs> so if you watch the movie and they see cutaway scenes of the body, it's a Filipino woman. Yeah. <laughs> they said we searched all of Canada. Oh, no. We searched all of Canada. We can't find look, a male dancer. Oh, man, look at you, dude. <sighs> yeah, that's what I was in. <laughs> And the whole time I'm like, I think this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time, every single day I'm like, I'm having a blast. Yeah, you're having fun. You're in Canada. You're with you know, your friend. That's how I met Michael Rosenbaum, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But deep down inside, you're just kind of going, Yeah, I don't think this is good. Oh, the experience <laughs> of the movie yeah. versus like sometimes it turns out never, sometimes ever matches. It never matches. Yeah. Because I remember going to the dressing room and Michael, me and Michael Rosenbaum would like get naked and really? fuck around. Yeah, fuck. This yeah, is what's time. fun. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. You know what I okay. mean. And then, like, <laughs> or you go to meals, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Let's go get dinner. You know, it's fun, yeah, right? Like, You're in a different look, hotel. Let's check out that schnitzel place together. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Like, if you and I did a movie, let's say I, I did one of your movies. Yeah. Right? I know you're number one on the call sheet, but... Uh, <laughs> not, not always. No, but if I was, like, fourth on the call sheet... Yeah. We would probably have a weekend. We would have a meal. Yeah, we'd probably be on some, like... You know, like, remote area together and need to have a meal. Right. Or you, you're, you're one of those, like, hey, I rented a boat. <laughs> no, I'm not. Why not? I don't rent. I don't rent boats. I don't. Well, you're not one. What? I don't thrive on the boats like that. Oh, not not a boat, but like for instance, if you and I did a movie in uh, Hungary, for instance, I would rent out the bottom section of a TGI Friday's patio. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, oh, I don't oh, rent boats. Oh, you're <laughs> all right. So you're going. But I'd be like, I would rent out an area, right. maybe of a TGI Friday's. Can in- I ask you this? <laughs> if uh, we were in Hungary. And you're like, I rented out TGI Fridays. I have no pull in Europe. <laughs> I, can't, I can't rent out shit in Europe. Or... You have money though, right? Yeah, but like, how does that, how do you know? Like, I don't know. I would probably that... go to you and go, can you do it at Nobu? Yeah. Would you do it at Nobu? With your blessing. If you came up to me and was like, oh. go make a book at Nobu, I don't even know if I can make one for myself, but with your blessing, I'd be like, Bobby <laughs> thinks I can. Yeah, so yeah. I'll try. Yeah. Okay. So that's going to happen. I believe one day I'm going to have like a couple of lines in her, one of her movies. Oh, <laughs> man. Probably, yeah. How fun would that be? Huh? What about like a character with depth and like awesomeness? Yeah, we'll do that too. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda like you. <laughs> what a good one you are. What a good good. Complex. I love it. Yeah. I do we have an unhelpful advice? We do. Unhelpful advice. Wait, should we do plugs now first? Uh, sure. I like to do that first. Yeah. yeah. So we don't yeah. forget it. Excuse me, Nora. Yes. Is there anything that you'd like to plug? Oh, I thought you were gonna do plugs for your show. <laughs> no, I have nothing. All right, no, I, uh, no, I don't. I, oh, well, okay, sure, yeah, I do. I, when is this coming out? Tomorrow. Oh, okay. Uh, I have a movie called Swan Song that's coming out on uh, December 12th, yeah. December 12th? Yeah. On what medium? Apple TV Plus. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, December 12th, Apple, I don't, Swan. I, 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 I have, can I double check? I don't, okay. I have Swan Song's coming My out in December. My are going, writing down, okay, <laughs> December 12th. Okay. We're going to bookmark it. Loopy. I might have forgot, yeah, no. but yeah, no, I, it's a really amazing movie you should go Who's see. Who's in it? Um, Mahershala Ali. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, Naomi one. Harris. Yeah, oh, yeah. fuck. Yeah, uh, Glenn Close, really good. Yes, so good. Yeah, dude. Glenn Carlos, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, super nice. She seems nice. Yeah. yeah, they're all they're all like very lovely. Yeah, it's so funny. That's great. Proud of you. Thanks. So December twelfth, Apple TV. Anything else? Uh, 17th, I December seventeenth. <laughs> December seventeenth. I think so. I'm done. You had to do that, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry. You George. had to do that. Thank you. So check that out, everyone. She's a she's part of our family. Mm-hmm. I love you guys. Go ahead. On hopeful advice with Bobby Kalina and Aquafina. Uh, this is from a friend. We'll call him M. Okay. Back in 2013, I was watching my cousin. At the time, he was maybe five. He wanted to go outside and play, so I went outside with him. About 30 minutes later, I was looking down at my phone, and I look up, and I see him with his pants down, squatting, taking a shit mm-hmm. on the carport. In mm-hmm. the carport. What's that? I have no idea what that uh, is. Is it like a driveway? A, a port? Garage? Carved garage, right? Without the- oh. Oh, okay. oh, so like a, a casita. See, I don't even know what that is. What the fuck is a casita, man? Outdoor. What the fuck is a casita, man? Center. It's an outdoor. You put a little (laughs) shed. Hey, Bobby, it's where you park your Tesla. You put a (laughs) no. Oh, that's that's where the the Tesla is. I couldn't couldn't help but laugh. Yeah. And I brought him aside and cleaned him up, completely forgetting about the shit. The next day, his mom, my aunt, came home and asked me what I fed the dog. I told her I fed her dog food for dinner. Why? She told me because she. 
because the dog took the biggest shit I've ever seen on the carport. I still have yet today to tell her that it wasn't the dog, but yeah, it, was it doesn't matter. How long has it been? Uh, 2013. Oh yeah, who cares? So basically, it's if you do something like that, should you still tell people? He's holding. Hey, this guy is holding. Well, here, that's not even his poop. I feel like this guy should have taken a shit himself, and, then and that's the more baggage. <laughs> that's more baggage than yeah. Well, here's a, here's the general the the bigger question is this. I understand what if he's you, saying. Why are you? Re, no, 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 no. What I'm saying is in I your am, life. I know English. In your life, if you've committed like a transgression against somebody, like and they no. and you get away with it, already do you tell, know. Do you tell them five years later? Do you come clean five years later? Oh, that's hard. Because I had his ex boyfriend do this. Yeah. He cheated on me for a couple of years while we were together in my mm. 20s. Oh, but shit. we're friends now. And he tells me stories about women that he's hooked up. And I was like, well, when did this happen? He was like, oh, yeah, it was when I was with you. Oh, my God. Like, oh, fuck wow. you, dude. Yeah. So he doesn't have to do that. But I mean, and, and I don't really have a feeling about it. But right. I'm just saying, do you come clean? Lying after? about your cousin, whoever, mm -hmm. pooed on the side of the road, whatever. Yeah. Pooping right? in the carport. Carport. Carp whatever the carport, whatever it is, right? <laughs> and then them going, you lying about, like, you know what I mean? I fed the dogs. Yeah. Right? I, like, five years later, if you lied to me about that, I would be like, I don't give a shit. Well, that was yeah. 2018, 2021 now. <laughs> I know. So it's that far. I wouldn't even remember it, would you? No, but I feel like he's building it up in his head now, maybe where it's it's yeah. becoming a, a different. But no, I, I wouldn't tell anybody. Yeah, if you get away with something and things are just going so That's what I'm in your point. life. Uh, thank you, thank you. Then just leave it. Uh, you don't need to, like, you know. Lying is good. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's the point. Lying sometimes, is, it just ends it. It's a good, you know what I mean? Let's move on from this lie. Sure. Right? Sometimes when you lie, it just stays that way. Are you like a, a like a little white lie or like you're like sometimes a, big a ones like I don't know Bobby with a lawyer, <laughs> right? It's a lie yeah. you told. Yeah, yeah, whatever, right? It doesn't matter. Fibs are okay. You told people you were a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's like a massive lie. Uh, yeah, yeah. Dude. On kicking it old school, he told people. You know, <laughs> oh, no. Or no, you lie like you know like that's I. That's a carport. Right we just there. learned. Oh, that's like oh, a, that's I've basically seen a casita. Before. A casita. <laughs> casita. <laughs> Look up a casita. C A S I T A. Yeah, go, yeah open. Like, oh, like that, like this. That's a casita. That's a casita. It's like a gas station kind of. I like yeah. that. It's similar. Nice. Wow. Yeah. So we learned a new word today too. Casita. Yeah. That's a nice word. Yeah. Good times. Wow. And um, <laughs> <laughs> really good times. I, I learned carport. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, listen. Yes. I um I was really looking forward to this. I was too. And I got on the plane. I came here, and um, it's better than it ever I ever expected it to. Good. Be. Good. And I just really love you a lot. And, you know, good luck on your things. And um, check out the Swan movie. Yes. Swan song. Swan, Swan song. Swan song. Yeah. I think that's what I said. I love you, Bobby. Thank you I for love having you too. me. Yeah. And Why don't we do a, please, let's just do a slow clap. <laughs> you know, we've never done, no, let me start it. Okay. I we've feel like white dudes love slow claps. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. You got I'm trying to learn. He's he got like, he was his hands he was in the powder. He's at the mouth. Like, <laughs> let's go. I, so, I can you're a white dude, right? So tell me if I'm doing it right. Because you know about slow cap claps, right? So let's give Nora a round of applause. No, I started. Oh, you started. Yeah. I think you come in the third one. Is this like a wave then? You come in the third one. Well, that's okay. This is not slow? Right. Yeah, it's slow. That's going to okay. be real long. Woo! 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 Pretty good? It's like they're realizing their own emotions through the clap. <laughs> right. They're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did like, want to do this earlier, but I wasn't I so. feeling okay. Yeah. Good. Thank you. So thank me. you so much for being here. Thank you. Thanks, Nora. I love you. Yes. What's up, everybody? My name is Dwayne Hagens, and I'm singing the Tiger Belly song this week. Uh, thank you to everybody that watched and commented nice things, and thank you to Bobby Kalila and the whole crew uh, for electing me as one of the winners. So uh, you can check out the music, my music, at DwayneHagens.com. Follow me on Instagram and. All that good stuff. Uh, thanks, guys. Hang on. I might get a little sexual with you, Nick. Yeah.